Hello, good morning everyone. Today we'll be discussing about or understanding about circle and we'll be identifying the center and radius of the circle with the given equation. So by definition, let C be a given point. The set of all points P having the same distance from C is called a circle. So imagine I have this distance. So from a given point or your circle center to any point of this, uh, makakabuo ka ng circle. So, from C to P, or any distance, or common distance, ang tawag nito is radius or denoted as R. So, by the long equation ng circle, uh, we have standard and general form. So, standard is X minus H squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared whereas general form ax squared plus ay squared plus cx plus dy plus a equals to 0 uh, where a must not be equal to 0 pag, kasi pag a equals to 0 so obviously hindi yung circle La, linear, magiging linear yan or line so in addition I would like to emphasize this to you na dapat sa circle sa general form dapat parehas ang coefficient ng x squared tapos y squared. Kung iba yan, possibly um, ellipse or hyperbola yan. Then, emphasize ko din ito sa inyo, sa standard form, pag ang uh, center is 0, 0, so automatically, x squared plus y squared minus r squared. Pag ang center niya ay nasa region. So, let's, uh, let us continue by answering these three examples. So, um, solution, Number one, ano ang gagawin nitong tatlong to? So obviously, general form siya, di ba? General form. So paano mo kukuha sa center ng sa radius? Gawin mo muna ang standard equation. So paano paggawa ng standard equation? Ito yung medyo challenging part. Kasi, you must recall the process of completing the square. So, um, watch and learn. So x squared, pinakaunang gagawin, i-group mo ang mga terms na may parehas na variable. So, isasama ko sa x squared tapos sa 6x. Then, walang kasama si y squared, loaner sa y squared. Hindi ba sa 7. So, paano pa uh, complete the squared? So, itong number na to, or coefficient na to, i-multiply mo na 1 half. Then, ang result nila, yung squared mo. Or, it can be um, divided by 2. Same lang yan. Multiplying 1 half or divided by 2, it will yield the same answer. Parehas lang yan. Depende sa preference mo. So, ano ang magiging result? Anong result nito? So, 9, di ba? Negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3 raised to 2 is 9. So, anong purpose ng 9 dito? So, magiging complete the square na siya. So, 6x plus 9. So obviously, walang kasama, walang magagawa sa so y squared. So as is lang sa so y squared, pag sa sad. Law of equality, kung ano ang ginawa mo sa kabila, yun din ang gagawin mo sa kabila. Or kung ano ang, ang, ang inaad mo sa kabila, yun ay inaad mo sa kabila. So, plus 9. So, factor this out. So, x minus 3 squared. Or you can verify this one by simply checking x squared, x minus 3 times, x minus 3. The result is x squared minus 6x plus 9. Then as a c y squared, so 16. So from this given um, new equation or standard equation, so you can identify directly the um, center, uh, no, 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 the center and radius. So your center, ito, I emphasize ko sa inyo to. Your center, pag negative dito, magiging positive yan. Kasi kung negative 3, substitute mo directly dito, dito negative 3 times negative, so magiging positive. Ito, obviously, Zero. Then your R equate the 16 to R squared. R squared. So, paano mo kukuha si R lang? So, get the square root, get the square root. So, R is 4. So, again, number 2. Let us proceed to number 2. So, again, pinakaunang gagawin, i-group mo by third, uh, by, 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 
variable. So negative 14, 14, then plus y squared plus 2y plus negative 14. So, um, negative 14 times 1 half, the result, and result into square, then ito, 2 times 1 half, then the result ito is square more. So, your result will be x squared minus 14x plus 49. Diba? Negative 14 times divided by 2 or times 1 half is negative 7. Squared is 49. And plus um, y squared plus 2y plus uh, negative 2y uh, negative 2 uh, no, 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 2 times 1 half or 2 divided by 2 is 1 squared then 1 equals to negative 14 plus ano yun add mo? 49 plus 1 so factor is 3 terms so x minus 7 plus factor also this one so y plus 1 squared then 50 minus 14 50 minus 14 answer is 36 so you can uh, find out the center again the center ito ha in the size ko magiging from negative magiging positive then from positive magiging negative so your r equate this 36 to r squared so obviously square uh, square uh, get the square root of both sides so r is equal to sorry oh, no, no 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 r is equal to 6 how about number 3 so number 3 medyo complicated unlike sa number 1 and number 2 so pinakaw lang gagawin i-group mo according sa uh, third uh, no, 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 so variable so x squared 96x plus 16y squared minus 40y so ito, bakit medyo complicated ito unlike sa number 1 and 2 <laughs> Kasi, ang coefficient ng x squared tapos y squared are hindi na 1, hindi na 1. Kaya nagiging complicated siya. So, paano? Anong gagawin? So, simplify. Ilapas mo yung common nila, 16. So, 16 x squared So, 16, ilan ang 16 sa 96? So, obviously, so, 6x. Wait lang ha. Then, ito, medyo complicated ito. So, y squared. Ito, ilan ang 16 sa 40? So obviously, dalawa lang at my remainder. So anong gagawin nito? I would like to emphasize this to you. Ito. So 16 y squared minus 40. No, no. Ano ang factor ng um, 40 sa 16? So ilan? So you simply divide 40 over 16. So this is 2 and 8 over 2 and 8 over 16 or this is 2 and 1 half then this is 5 over 2 so factoring between between 16 uh, uh, 40 to 16 is 
negative 5 months. Or you can verify this one by multiplying 16 times 5 is 80 divided by 2 is 40. And y uh, equals to 315. So now, um, complete the square, so as sun by 16. X squared plus ito, 6 times 1 half result nito is square mo. Anong result? So, 6X plus 9 plus 16 then Y squared minus ito. 5 halves negative 5 halves times 1 half then square mo. You're at, the answer of this one is negative 5 over 4 and the square mo so ang magiging answer mo is 25 over 16 then um, stand by si 315 so ito, again kung ano ang ginawa, ang anong inado dito i-add mo dito so 9 tapos 25 over 16, ito lang ba i natin? hindi Isasali mo itong 16 kasi nakamultiply pa ito. So, 16 times 9 plus 16 times 25 over 16. So, manipulate this one. This is 315 plus 16 times 9 is 144. Cancel, cancel. So, 25. So what's the result of this uh, of these values? This is 315. This is 484. So your new equation will be your new equation will be factor this one. Wait lang ha. 484. Your new equation will be 16 times, uh, factor this one, answer is x squared plus 3 squared plus 16 y minus ito, ito 5 over 4 then um, squared divide both sides by 16 divide both sides, divide both sides by 16 by 16, so x squared plus 3 oh, no, 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 walang squared pala dito sorry, sorry, walang squared x squared plus uh, x plus 3 squared plus y minus 5 over 4 squared equals to 4, 8, 4 over 16, or this can be simplified anong pwede i-divide between 4, 8, 4 and 16? So, or GCF, greatest common factor nila. Obviously, 4. So, 4, 8, 4 divided by 4. Or this is 1 to 1. Still divided by 4, this is 4. So, your center is negative 3 and positive 5 over 4. Your radius is, um, radius is 1 2, 1 over 4, then get the square root, get the square root, cancel. So, the radius, the radius now is equivalent to 11 over 2. Yan, 11 over 2. Sir, meron bang easy technique to identify the center of a circle? Meron. Ang technique na to is um, center... Negative D over 2. Oh, no, no. Negative C. And negative D over 2. By the way, I would like also to emphasize this to you. Sa ibang reference or sa ibang textbook, hindi C tapos D dito. So ito, sa so reference ko, C tapos D. You can denote any letters class. So C tapos D. Ang, uh, basta, Basta, tandaan nyo, ang um, divided by 2, ang coefficient dito, coefficient ito ng x. 
Nagdinote ito ng C. Nagdinote coefficient ng x ng x ito coefficient ng y. So, uh, example number one. So, let us verify number one kung maging tama ba ito. Number one. Example number one. So, ano yung x natin? Ano yung um, coefficient ng x? Negative 6. Pag magiging negative, negative ang formula. Negative 6 times negative. So, magiging positive 6 over 2. Then, obviously, 0 na ito. Diba? Wala, wala. 0 divided by 2. So, 0. So, your center, your center is 3 3 and 0. So, tama ba? O. Oh, tama, di ba? How about number 2? Let us verify. Um, number 2, ano yung coefficient ng x na nga, hindi x squared, ha? Ano yung coefficient? Negative 14. Negative 14, magiging positive na kasi negative yung formula. So, 14 divided by 2. Then, how about si... Ang coefficient ng y, 2. So, magiging negative. Negative 2 over 2. So, C, obviously, ang center is 7 and negative 1. Tama ba? 7 and negative 1? 7 7 and negative 1. Tama ba? 7 and negative 1. Ano yun? Ito, tama, di ba? How about number 3? How about number 3? You cannot, uh, by the way, hindi ito applicable directly kung mayroong mga, hindi one ang coefficient ng x squared tapos y squared. This is only applicable, obviously number one ang ito, coefficient ng x squared tapos y squared. R1, di ba? O R is 1, di ba? So, x squared, obviously. So, paano mo malalaman directly? Dito ka, kuha. Sa so, number 3, ha? Number 3. So, ito. Kasi 1 ang coefficient niya. Ito, 1 ang coefficient niya. So, let us check. Ito, ito yung gagamitin mo. Kung makaka-answer ba tayo ng negative 3 and 5 over 4. So, let us check. Ano yung coefficient ng uh, dito? 6, di ba? So, so, negative, magiging positive 6, magiging negative na. Kasi negative yung formula. So, negative 6 over 2. And how about yung isa? So ito, negative 5 halves. Negative 5 halves, magiging positive na kasi negative ang formula. So 5 halves divided by 2. So this is um, negative 3. How about, are you going to manipulate this one? Um, uh, fraction, let us a fraction. Ang tawag niyan, complex fraction. So write the, write the denominator I-pasize ko muna ito, ha? Pinto pen. So, right na the numerator multiplied by the reciprocal of the denominator. Anong reciprocal na 2? Di ba 1 half? Then, proceed to multiplication. 5 times 5 times 1 then 2 times 2. So, your result is 5 over 2. Tama ba? So, um, so um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning and keep aiming high. See you on my next um, tutorial video.